We're here with Brian Parisi, the swimming and diving head coach. Brian, your team is nationally ranked now, number 24. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to the team? Um, well, I, it's, it's a milestone accomplishment for us. We're really excited to have that national recognition. It's the first time in program history that we've been ranked in the top 25. And, you know, we've, we've had this, actually this hashtag all year, big time. Uh, that we've been putting out when we put media posts up because that's what we want to be in. And, and we feel like, you know, you, when you get a national ranking, that's big time. So uh, it's, it's something that we're real excited about. But at the same time, you know, it's just at one point in the season. We know that ultimately, you know, to be top 25, you got to finish in the top 25 at the NCAA championships. So what about this team stands out to you, particularly as a nationally ranked number 24 team? What stands out to you? Uh, I think what stands out to me most, um, you know, in, in terms of like how we got there is really just um, the, the character of the team, uh, the way that they interact with each other and, and how they push each other, I think over time has led to, you know, I think daily improvements and a lot of small daily improvements that now has got us to the point where, you know, we have some some really nationally ranked swimmers like Paloma in the 200 breaststroke. She's currently sitting uh, ninth in the country. Uh, Paulina's uh, 23rd, I believe, in the 100 butterflies. So I think, you know, those small improvements every day, uh, they, they add up to some big results. So you're about to head into the uh, MAC championship here, four time reigning championship. What is what are you doing to prepare to defend that title and get your fifth MAC championship? Just business as usual. There's seven other teams in the conference. We only have control over ourselves. Uh, and really, you know, it's just um, trying to help everybody kind of keep their wits about them, uh, not really feel too much pressure, if any. Um, you know, we want to go out there and have a little bit of nerves because we want to be, you know, I think you're at your best when you, when you have the nerves flowing a little bit. Um, but really just right now trying to get our minds right. Uh, the, the work's done, the, the, the money's in the bank, so to speak. And next week, we just want to get a withdrawal. All right, so for those who are maybe not too savvy on, on swimming, what do people have to look forward to when they come to a swim meet or an invitational? Um, well, a, a lot of energy. If, if you come down and you watch the MAC championships, uh, you're going to hear a lot of loud cheering. And, and down there at Ohio University with the way their facility is set up, uh, it's going to be really, really loud, uh, especially during the final session. So you're going to see parents, you're going to see fans, like just it's going to be sold out. Uh, you know, the teams are all going to be sitting where, you know, they, they have assigned seating for the parents and the parents are going to be doing cheers with the teams down on the deck and back and forth. So it's just a real, it's an exciting and, and electric atmosphere. This is exciting and I don't know that anyone really understands how well this swim team and diving team has been doing. So I want to congratulate you on this amazing team and maybe get more people involved in this team because we have a nationally ranked program now. So what would you say to, to students and other people watching this to get them on board? Uh, come on, come on out, support our programs. Um, you know, we have other nationally ranked programs as well, not just ours, but uh, there's a lot of exciting things I think happening uh, here in the pool and just come check it out. You'll be happy you did. Well, you heard it here. Thank you, Brian, Thank head you. coach of the women's swimming and diving team. And they're doing amazing. Back to you guys.